Well, welcome back to Tech Garage, presented to you by rockauto.com. We got our camshaft here, and we need to do a, a little visual inspection before we really start getting into mics. All right, so you're rolling it around here. This is a nice little rack to hold it. Rolling it around, you're looking for obvious flat spots on cam lobes. Nothing super visual here. You want to go through methodically, one by one. Maybe the flashlight. We're lucky we have all these lights around. We can get a good look at it. You can also see some tracking where there's some bearing wear there on the mains. Not terrible, but I tell you what, it's bad enough that we need to go through, get a full-blown digital inspection of every lobe to see what kind of condition the camshaft's in. One thing I can tell you, John, we're going to rebuild those heads. Yeah, that's for sure. Now these heads, take a look at it. We got them off sitting right on the table. First couple of moves, just make sure you clean the surface. Get your wire brush or a wheel or whatever you want to do it with. Clean inside the combustion chamber. Really, all you're doing is you just want a good visual inspection so you're not wasting time. Perhaps it's cracked right here and it's so obvious you're going to have to get a head. You don't have to go through this whole process. But other than that, that's the first step. You got it good and clean, Brian. We Absolutely. can head to the actually the... Absolutely. Now we want to check for level here. Yep, check for level, straight edge across, get the specification. Well, where are you going to get the specification? If you pull up this graphic, everything's there. You can go to service menu, get a little Haynes menu, go to rockauto.com, get the book. You'll have every single one right there, okay? So I come down here, I'm just checking. I'm checking in all different places, across this way, this way, this way, no matter how you put it. You don't want the maximum to go under there. Once again, we haven't did anything. It's warp, forget it, get a new head. If it's not like ours, we can proceed on, all right? So now what we're gonna do is I actually pulled a valve out. We're gonna keep them organized real nice, but I'm gonna show you how they do it. I actually come here with a valve compressor right here, and this is pretty cool. I'm gonna try to do this live, Brian, so watch your eyes. You got it, baby, <laughs> looks good. Come down here, I'm gonna hit this. I like to go ahead and tap the valves first just to make sure there's no varnish buildup on them, kind of free up any of that. So my valve spring compressor on the head right there. I got it on the valve. Yep. I'll push it down, and when I go. push it down, I could take a little magnet, Brian's favorite tool in the shop. Work Clip. smart, yep, one and two. Look at that. Well done, nice. like a surgeon. So then what we can do is release the pressure, and what's nice. gonna happen is, in order, Brian, there's a valve yep. spring for you. Very nice. Now what I can do is I can go ahead and just file it. Take a little bit of that top off right there. Just come around, spin it around, take that off so you're not ruining your seat, and then Voila, there's your valve. Well done. Now, there's even more to inspect here. We're going to go slow so that ultimately we can go fast with our LS engine. On the valve itself, lots of inspections got to be done. John's going to show you more about that in a second. But I want to show you how to inspect these valve springs. Believe it or not, these guys can get out around, they can get out of true, they can get heat cycled. You're looking for, just get yourself a level, a good surface like this. Look for level and true and plumb all the way up that valve spring. I like to roll it around, check at a few random spots. Same thing on the other one. The next thing you can do is check for level across the top of them. Again, you're looking for plumb. Now, you want to get crazy about it, throw a level on there, you'll see the bubble. I'll tell you what, these actually look pretty good. The final step would be a load test. You probably don't have a fancy tool like this at home, but there are specs here. If you want to load test every single one of your valve springs, you'll have a really good idea of what condition you're putting that head back in in. Exactly. And your valves, once again, another specification. You can come here and you can just set your thing up as a no-go gauge. Just come here, check it, check it, check it. Check your little inside, check your clearances. Just make sure all of your things in spec so your car will run great. Well, it's time to head to Garage Ed, man. Love it. We're learning here, we're learning there. Love we're learning it. everywhere. <laughs> we'll see you right after break with more Tech Garage.